TTS Gaming here. For today's video, we're going to be doing the installation of the EVGA Nevada GeForce GT730 2 gig GDDR5 graphics card. It is a low pro graphics card, 64 bit, 2 gig, uh, made by Nevada EVGA. GeForce GT730. Let's go ahead and get the side off. In our last video, we installed the AMD Anthelon X4 860K Black Edition CPU processor and its fan. For warranty reasons, we will be putting an aftermarket fan on it later. Stay tuned for that. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, install. this graphics card. But first you got to find the slot it goes into. Not sure which one, but if I had a guess, it would probably be sorry guys, just trying to figure out what slot. Wonder it, it probably gets locked down, so thinking thinking it can go either the top or that one. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the top one. That's what I wanna do. Let's make sure that will even fit in there. That'll be perfect. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's what I said. Alright, so here's what we're going to go ahead and do. we got to get this part unscrewed. This little slide out. Most of them are pop-outs, but the first one is meant for the graphics card, and that's a screw-out. So, we'll go ahead and get our screwdriver. We'll go ahead and unscrew that. And pull that out. And then we'll put in the new one. See, that's all it was. Little pop out. And screw it. Don't need that. We'll need the screw. Go ahead and touch the static bag. EVGA GeForce GT730. HDMI, VGA, and DVI. Heat sink with fan looks great. Um, you guys tell me, are we supposed to peel these off, or I'm just gonna go ahead and peel those off. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, if you're not. War uh, it says warranty void if removed. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave that on there then. We don't want to afford our warranty. So we'll go ahead, set down the screw, we'll go ahead and place it in here. Open up the slot, just go ahead and slowly push until it clicks into place. Make sure it locks into place everywhere. Ah, once you hear it click, it's in place. Just want to check a couple more times. Okay, it is in place. Get your screw back ready. Put the screw in the hole. And screw it a bit. Some people that I was watching reviews on this, they don't even screw it down. It makes it wobbly. It's probably better to screw it down. They wouldn't spy it if it wasn't supposed to be screwed. Don't over tighten, just needs to be screwed enough to hold it in place. Okay, that's perfect. Ain't going nowhere. Go ahead and get you an inside shot. It says EVGA on the top. There it is. We just screwed that in. 
it went to that PCIe slot. Just gotta wait for it to click. There's the back. That's the motherboard, which does have HDMI, DVI, um, VGA, the PCI something, PCS, PCL, 3.0 USB, 2.0 USB, Ethernet, two more 2.0 USBs, uh, the lines. This one has VGA, HDMI, and DVI. So there's those. We'll probably be using HDMI, HDMI, most likely. If not, we're going to use DVI. I do not know why this one's upside down. That one's upside down, that one's upside down, that one's the other way. Hopefully I install it right. Looks installed. Remember, this is my first build. It clicked into place. I screwed it down. It's the only thing I did. Um, I'm sure... Like, because when I push it, it moves over on the bottom, but I'm sure there's some way to do it. <coughs> That's good. It's our build. There's the installation. So, yeah. Everything has blue LEDs besides that fan. And this fan. That does have blue LEDs that we will be putting on. Just little ones right here and there. Um, the front case... That's blue LED fan. This blue LED fan. Blue LED buttons. So yeah, there's the installation of that. Here's our RAM cards. We're putting in all four. So we'll have 16 gigs of RAM. Because we're gonna do we're gonna do rib jaw. Rib jaw four gig. Sixteen hundred RAM. DDR3. We're going to do four of them. Four, four gigs. So four gig, four gig, four gig, four gig, four gig. Yeah, pretty sure. So 16 gigs, but four individual RAM cards. So we have four dedicated RAM cards. We have our own dedicated graphics card, our own dedicated CPU, all dedicated. Everything's dedicated in this build. So it should run quite fast. CPU can run up to four gigahertz on turbo. 3.7 and 3.8 normal. We're going to overclock it to like 4.2. This thing runs quite fast. 4.2, 4.5, 2 gig right here. This is a 4 megabyte catchy. This thing has a 16 or an 8. So yeah. Stay tuned for more of that build. Go check out my channel. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Keep it real.